Hey guys, what up is up? So today we're going to talk about cable groups whose hype has died down. So without wasting your time, let's quickly dive in. I think Momoland is like the best example of a group whose hype has died down. Their debut songs weren't that popular until they released Boom Boom, which was the biggest hit for a very long time. This comeback also gained their first win, but unfortunately many have started accusing them of plagiarism since the song Sounds Like Me 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 by Cerebro. For now, the music video has over 561 million views. Then, Momoland came back with BAM, which was also a huge hit with over 232 million views. Even their dance practice video of BAM got over 226 million views. But unfortunately, this era also started the downfall of their hype. BAM became a very controversial music video as many have called them out for cultural appropriation. Many members also either got kicked out or left after this era. Yan Wo decided to leave to focus on acting career. Teha left with unknown reasons, and Daisy left and sued their company for unpaid wages. Now, the situation with Daisy was very messy. When she was still a member of Momoland, she claimed that fighting Momoland was rigged, stating the agency already planned to place her into the group despite being eliminated and that the chosen members had to pay for the production costs. She also explained that she had been in conflict with MLD after being prevented from promoting with the group since May 2019. When requesting to have her contract terminated, her agency demanded an absurd amount of money for breaking the contract. MLD of course denied the claims and asked for official apologies. Not really long time after her picture was removed from Momoland's page, yet the company stated she was still a member. Now, Momoland is a six-member group, but their songs, even though they're really good, are not doing as good as they used to do. So, I personally blame MLD for their downfall. Next is Changha. She had a lot of hype in 2019 and 2020. Changha was literally everywhere. She was truly thriving. And now I barely hear anything about her. She was supposed to have a heavy focus on international promotions back in 2020 and then C19 happened. She also injured her ankle and faced a long recovery from that and it was at the rehab facility she went to for that where she contacted C19. She really just had an awful run of luck that resulted in her hype kind of dying down while she was dealing with health stuff. Then I definitely think they mishandled her album release. The pre-release singles might have worked out but they have not been so spread out. But there were so many and it took so long that all the hype kind of died down by the time they actually released the album. I've also seen people speculating that her company might have financial problems because her album didn't sell as much as they wanted. Many people are saying that her momentum was hurt by Bicycle. Chongha herself said that putting out this album was very tiring and went on rest so her hype Footer cooled down. For now, it seems like she's on hiatus since her official comeback was around a year ago and Killing Me wasn't really promoted. If I remember right, it was just a random special single. I personally think that Chongha will get her hype even higher. She just needs better promotions to be honest. I was honestly surprised when I saw people saying her hype died down and that it's because of Bicycle because, let's be real, it's a bob. Next is TWICE. Now, this is not my opinion and I decided to include them in my video because I've seen some people mentioning that TWICE's hype is dying down and I simply wanted to discuss it. TWICE, ever since debut, were basically on top. Every single comeback was very successful. Based on what other people are saying, they are claiming that TWICE fell off since their latest comeback, Sciences, barely charted. Korean netizens discussed how TWICE's new album only managed to climb up to the 95th spot on Melon Daily chart top 100 and 144th spot on Jenny Daily chart after a day 
of its release. They also pointed out that Twice album sales have gone down. A lot of people are also pointing out that this might be also because they switched concepts. Now, I'm not a Twice fan. I don't really catch up with them, but didn't their newest album Formula of Love become the best selling girl group album of 2021? It debuted second after selling a total of 632,506 copies in South Korea. For now, it's over 800,000. Meanwhile, Taste of Love sold over 557,000 copies back then. Also, just because they don't hit 300 million views on their music videos as they used to, doesn't give a valid proof of them flopping. Twice released alone in 2021, six music videos. In this case, it's hard to stream a music video that tickets to Twice Tokyo Dome concert in Japan for three days have already sold out very quickly and even the server went down as soon as the ticket was open. In North America, Twice's Ford World Tour garnered over 100,000 attendees, breaking Blackpink's record. Twice joined BTS as the only Korean group to record over 100,000 tickets sold on their North American tour dates. The first show sold out in under 60 minutes, and a second date that was added due to popular demand also sold out in the same time. So I personally don't think that TWICE is flopping. I don't think that TWICE's hype has died down. But yeah, that is it for today. Let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel for more. Bye!